They've come from far and wide for this. How you doing? I'm doing great today. Listen, Brooke Burke was fired from Dancing with the Stars and now we finally know why. And Lauren and Simon have a surprising dinner guest. I still can't believe she, ooh. Anyway, and John Gosling went on a nasty rant and we've got the clip. Let's talk about it and more. It's time for Hot Topics. Daylight savings time, 21 more days till spring. Yeah. Oh, and you know what Thursdays mean TV-wise? Scandal returns tonight at 10 on ABC. And before Scandal, I watch Grey's Anatomy at nine. Do you watch Grey's yeah. at nine? Exactly, love it. Anyway, we finally might know exactly why Brooke Burke was fired from Dancing with the Stars and replaced with Erin Andrews. Reportedly, Erin was, first of all, Erin does sports at ABC and Dancing with the Stars is on ABC. So um, Fox Sports is owned by ABC, is that what it is? ESPN? ESPN? Yeah. Whatever it is, it's all, Erin is already in the family business wise, but she was hired to attract young males to watch uh, uh, Dancing with the Stars, the same way young males watch Fox Sports. Dancing with the Stars, you continue to get it wrong. There are a lot of young males who work around uh, the Wendy show and not one of them would turn your show on to look at Erin um, Andrews. <laughs> not, not because she's not an attractive girl. You know, I'm sure she's got a lovely personality, but guys don't watch Dancing with the Stars. Stop trying to pull in, stop trying to make something that's not there and just go with your strengths. You know who watches Dancing with the Stars? Old ladies, gay men, and, and families who want safe programming to watch with their little kids, yeah. right? So I'm sure Erin is perfectly lovely. It was pretty crappy that Brooke got the telephone call on the same day that the press release went out that she was, um, that she, yeah, yeah, it was, she was probably like on her way to Ralph's to go grocery shopping for a family. <laughs> Cell phone rang, she pulled over to the side of the road and, hello, uh, Brooke, just wanted you to know, you're fired. Really? <laughs> So, well, it's, it's tough, uh, it's, it's, you know, show business is a rough business, but so Aaron is hired and Aaron is supposedly is gonna be luring young viewers, young men, young men don't care. You should go with your strengths dancing with the stars. You, it's a good thing that you're bringing Maxim Schmierkowski back. Yeah. I, um, I found out about that little tidbit at a website called twofab.com. And I think it's great he's coming back, not as a judge, because as we all know, he's not a good judge. We saw him. He's coming back as a dance pro. He'll take off his shirt, he'll slick his hair back. He'll, he's, he's eye candy for the women who watch Dancing with the Stars. As a matter of fact, all the men are. I like Max's brother, Val, he's nice looking. That Derek Huff. I mean, it's women who watch your show, so go with that. And then, you know, as far as the judges table, you need to shake that up. But I'm gonna stop telling you that. All three judges should go. But I like. <laughs> uh, the best I can tell, Brooke Burke was not the show's problem. And neither was that fabulous orchestra who they're now replacing with some DJ. Uh, it's the judges that need to go. Uh, but I like the formula. I like Carrie Ann Anaba. I think an attractive um, girl of a particular age, like she's perfect, but just not her. Get somebody else. Why don't, why don't you go with Paula Abdul? Yeah. Or Rosie Perez. I like that there's an older man there, but not as old as Len. Maybe, some, <laughs> maybe somebody a little bit younger than Len, but with a salt and pepper effect in his hair, you know? And I like, you know, uh, Bruno and his sassy, you know, uh, gayness. So, and, and I like a gay man being on Dancing with the Stars. You know, sassy and snappy, just not these three anymore. You'll continue to get it wrong. And I'll continue to criticize. <laughs> This uh, Simon Cowell is just a mess. 
Okay, so Simon and Lauren Silverman, they were enjoying their, their vacation in Miami uh, with his, are you ready for this? Ex-fiance, Mishkan. Okay, there's Mishkan in the black, and there's Lauren. Probably very self-conscious. The baby is only a couple of weeks old, and he already has her traipsing around the country, you know, uh, flying to Miami, going out for dinner. You can tell she's self-conscious, like we all were after we delivered, you know, waiting to lose that weight. She's trying to hide her stomach with the clutch bag. I wonder how, what they talk about at, ta at the dinner table. <laughs> and, and, and I wonder why it is that Lauren puts up with that. Like, Lauren, you now have the biggest horse in the race with Simon because you have birthed his heir. And so you should have told him, I will not sit here with Mishkan. You know, Mishkan and Simon were engaged. Oh yes! <laughs> and Simon is a come up for Mishkan because si uh, Mishkan did Simon's makeup when he was at American Idol. Oh. Do you know how intimately a makeup artist is in your face, <laughs> talking to you about your problems, stroking your cheeks? <laughs> You know, and they ended up falling in love. So she, that's a come up. She came from being a makeup artist to now being his ex, which comes with a lot of perks, you know. When they broke up, he bought her an $8 million mansion. Oh. I don't know whether it's in cash, but it probably was in cash, allegedly. So then all she's gotta do is pay the taxes and make sure that the lawn and the pool are clean. <laughs> I say that Mishkan has nothing to lose by being around Lauren, but Lauren has everything to lose, including the dignity that she's losing right now. Yeah. I mean, even Lauren's baby shower had, you know, a bunch of his exes, including Mishkan and um, Terry Seymour, uh, which is one of his exes. I, I wouldn't have even gone to my own baby shower if that was, <laughs> I hate baby showers. You make that stupid hat with those stupid bows. <laughs> You know what I mean? And you play those stupid baby games. Just bring on the main event. When can I push? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then, the three of them were spotted taking baby Eric and the two dogs for a stroll. Now, there are a few observations in this picture. First one, his obvious mammal toe. Second of all, you notice how both girls are fully clothed, but Simon is walking around, and we checked, it was like 78 degrees at this particular point. He's walking around with no shirt on. <laughs> Baby Eric is sleeping. The interesting thing about Simon, though, I mean, you still have to love him because he, he rides with his conviction regardless of what we say. He's gonna keep all these women around, and you kind of have to admire that in people, that no matter what you think, they're gonna do what they wanna do. I mean, right down to his 80s dad jeans. Like, <laughs> who wears these kind of jeans anymore? They're all bellish and dragging on the ground and not fitting properly here, and, and he doesn't care. <laughs> Gotta love Simon, I guess. <laughs> All right, so tonight, everybody, there's something else on TV that I enjoy, switching back and forth. Do you watch Couples Therapy on VH1? John Gosling, and we're gonna see this episode tonight. John Gosling lost it. Um, it began just ranting about his ex-wife, Kate. Take a look, and then we'll talk. Go ahead. But she can go out and talk about the kids anytime she wants. She can tweet and website dedicated to that every book she's ever put out because she wants to keep on being on television which is never gonna happen so she can die oh. there's your honest depiction of cake awesome so peace human being so we're gonna see that full episode tonight there are a few observations the first one is you know you're a good, hard, long time smoker when you smoke and talk the smoke out of your mouth. <laughs> Instead of just, you know, take the drag and blow it out and then continue your conversation. He, he was talking the smoke out of his mouth, right? That's so funny to watch. Second of all, I think that John is so immune to reality TV that I don't even think he knew the cameras were on. Because of all the things he said, he said, eat and die. Like, he's got eight children who have to live with that in the archives of TV on the YouTube forever. 
He's lo you're losing it right in front of us, John. Come on, come on now, hang in there, John. And why so much cursing? I hate when people curse too much, all that beeping and buzzing. I can't follow, and then you gotta blur them. You gotta blur the mouth if they hit a hard F. You can't, you know, you get blur. All my time being on TV and even on radio, I never cursed. Oh, God. No. I mean, but in real life, every other word. Oh, every other word. I will curse you out. I will curse the ground out. Just curse, curse, curse. But it's weird. It's like an innate thing. I don't know. Maybe that just comes from like media training from being in school. You just always knew when the mic is hot, don't curse. Oh, I know what it was. You have to pay FCC fines. And there was, a, there was an early point in my career where, you know, when you curse, you're paying the fine out of your money or you're gonna get in your own lawyer. The radio station will not, uh, you know, pay the fine for you. So that'll, that'll learn you quick. It's not worth $50,000 to say the F word to make a point. Anyway, uh, couples therapy is on the same time as Grey's Anatomy tonight, nine o'clock on VH1. Let's flip back and forth and watch everything. Sure. <laughs> Chloe Kay is on the cover of Cosmopolitan magazine. It's her first interview. It's her first interview since her split with Lamar, and I believe this is her first cover without the sisters, you know what I mean? Like, for a magazine. It's good Chloe's stepping out on her own. She's wearing some pretty revealing outfits um, here. Look at that one. Uh-huh. High-waisted shorts and no top. Perfect. <laughs> Chloe reveals how she's handling um, challenges and how she's, uh, you know, this has been her MO in her life. And uh, I found that we have a lot in common, Chloe. I had no idea. And then I'll tell you, well, and hold on. <laughs> I'm not a big cry on a shoulder person. I'm very introverted when it comes to my own stuff. Everyone has issues and I'm not someone who likes to burden people. I hold things in, I don't know why. So when I read this quote in our Hot Topics meeting this morning, I said, oh my gosh, She's like my sister from another mister with this thing. You know, I don't like to cry on, you won't catch me crying on shoulders and boo-hooing. And I said, what sign is she? So they look it up, she's a cancer, like me. So I get it. I get it. I, I don't know, I always feel like, eh, nobody wants to hear my problems, so I'm just gonna keep them in, which is why we, uh, I'm prone to ulcers. I don't have one, but my star sign is prone to ulcers. I suspect if I keep holding it in, I'll have one by the end of the show. <laughs> um, all right, so speaking of Chloe, rapper of the game is denying that they're dating. Well, of course he is, because it's not exactly dating if you're just smushing or smashing, you know? It's a little vodeo fun. Uh, in my mind, uh, but he did reveal that he and Kim dated briefly a long time ago. Ooh. Is there a man that Kim has not dated? <laughs> if, that's what, if that's what we're calling it these days. Now the interesting part is that the game says that he doesn't exactly remember when they dated, but you know, I've got a great team here and we did some digging and we found a picture from 2006. Here it is. It looks like both of them might have dated the game at one point. <laughs> Hi, Paris. You know, I was reading that Kim Kardashian didn't like her baby hair, so she got it removed. Did you guys read that, by the way, about the, the baby hair? You know, have you noticed her, her hairline has changed? I think baby hair is so good, but she, she, has got, she said she got it lasered off because she didn't like it. I just think it frames your face so nicely, especially if you hit it with a toothbrush and some Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> and pull it down. <laughs> anyway, all right, so the question is, then who, who hit it first, Ray J or the game? <laughs> it's gotta be hard being in Hollywood and seeing your, your, your present has been passed around so many times. Now, what are we up to? With, let me see, Kim, Kim was married, Kim was married. Uh, she was with the game. She was with Ray J. She was with Nick Cannon, Reggie Bush. Tom, what'd you say? Chris Humphreys. Who, Jackson? Wait, the Jackson boy. He, she went to the prom with him. Yup, a Jackson. Who else? Miles Austin. 
And that was all before her 25th birthday. <laughs> Even Kanye's public pass around isn't as pastelicious as that, Kim. Because all we know about is um, Amber Rose um, on the up high. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> um, Kate Hudson's relationship with her fiance, Matt Bellamy, may apparently be on the rocks. I know, I was reading this article on my way in this morning in People Magazine, and we did some more research here. You know, he says, it, they were talking about they're not in a great place right now. Uh, they're trying to make it work. But they've been engaged, you guys, for three years. And she's not wearing her ring right now. Today's New York Daily News is reporting that uh, Matt and Kate are leading separate lives. That's not a good, that's not a good uh, thing when you've been engaged. First of all, nobody needs to be engaged for three years. <laughs> Especially because Kate was already married. She's 33 years old. So she's a more mature 33-year-old. You know, there's some 33-year-olds who can still live like, you know, single girls because they are single. They have no children and, you know, just have fun. But, you know, she already, already has that little boy with her Counting Crows ex-husband. Wasn't he a Counting Crow? Uh, yeah, something. A musician. He, he likes black crows? Chris Wellington. Oh, K Chris Wellington. That, that's who she was. Chris W. <laughs> That, that's who she was married to. And now, so Matt is a musician too, but he's from London and he's in that band called Muse and Muse is based out of London. Now, you know, you couldn't see Kate doing anything but the California thing. She grew up in California. She's got a California uh, personality. Um, she's in Hollywood, busy making four upcoming movies. As a matter of fact, she's 34 years old. Oh. I think she looks 34, Suzanne. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. yeah. She's, a, she's got a nice, easy, breezy demeanor about her, but I don't even understand why. You know she got pregnant um, with this, with this uh, second child by uh, this musician fella like two months after they were dating. Ooh. First of all, too soon to let go of the birth control, <laughs> number one. Second of all, um, one of the things that they are fighting about in their relationship is that he wants to spend more time in England you know, with his band, his family, and his friends, and she wants to be in California. Well, you know what? That's why you, shouldn't, you all shouldn't have gone out on a fourth date. I mean, they're just some very basic things that you all didn't have in common, so why did you even look him in the eyes and jump into bed like that? <laughs> I don't feel sorry for people who make these mistakes. I mean, yeah, it's an easy mistake to make, and I do like Kate Hudson, but I don't feel sorry if this um, engagement is over. You know, uh, you know, I always tell you three is the magic number when it comes to relationships. By the third date, you know if you want a fourth. By the third month, you know whether this person is a keeper and maybe you need to consider um, getting a little closer. By the third year, if he hasn't asked you to marry, he, then he, may, he never might. Or you haven't, well, you don't ask him, but if he hasn't asked you to marry. Anyway, Kate, <laughs> I'm sorry to hear what's happening, but you'll get another. Yeah. Good luck co-parenting. All right, <laughs> do you know who the Duggar family is? Yes. No, you don't. Because <laughs> I, I forget that they're the Duggar family. All I know them is as that family with those 19 kids on TLC. Okay, Jim and Michelle Duggar, meet them. Let's show the picture. Okay. <laughs> By the way, Michelle is 47 years old. So now, <laughs> I know she looks a lot in need of moisturizer. <laughs> uh, Michelle thinks that uh, you should never, er, well, this is how they've managed to make it work. First of all, remember when the show started, it was the Duggars with 17 kids, and then during the run of the show, she got pregnant with the other two, so now they have 18 kids. The, the kids range in age from four years old to 25 years old, and the 25-year-old is already married with three kids of his own. <laughs> look at his 80s hairstyle, and, and look, <laughs> Look, every girl in the 80s had this hairstyle. The problem is it's 2014, Michelle. <laughs> but she's too busy to go to the hair salon. She's too busy having sex with her man. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Let me tell you something. Michelle thinks you should never turn your man down for sex even if you're tired. Oh. Who said yes? Clap! <laughs> even if you're tired. You know, uh, there are, there's a large part of this that is absolutely true. You shouldn't turn each other down for sex even if you're tired because uh, you know, what you don't do, somebody else might. 
I just find it uncomfortable to get it from a 2014 housewife looking like a throwback from the 60s. It's a, it's a little, that part is a little disconcerting to me. Sorry, if, if that message was de delivered by a more modern woman who didn't have 19 kids and crunchy 80s hair. Here's what Michelle says though, and listen to how she says it. Be available. Anyone can fix him lunch, but only one person can meet that physical need of love that he has. And you always need to be available when he calls. <laughs> I'm so shocked that so many of you agree with this because you realize it's a very antiquated thing to do. But for those of us in relationships, you, we know how important sex is. Let me just do that poll again. Clap if you agree with Michelle. Wow. Well, 19 Kids and Counting returns to TLC beginning on April 1st. Yeah.